Did you miss me? I missed you, and I love you, and you love me. And we're one big happy family. And right now, I'm working on this American Standard train. And it's Daniel's son. It's cold. It's cold. Forgive the noise. I got replacement Kev. Let's crack this open. Quick little observation though. Look at that. Someone put the filter dryer inside the condenser. They thought it was a Goodman. They thought it was a Goodman. Silly rabbit. Goodmans are not Goodmans. They're Badmans. Anyway, this one's not cooling. And I think she's undercharged. And she had the other guy, the low bitter guy here, who just filled her up and said, oh, we just needed a couple pounds. So let's see what we actually do, really do need. Uh, this is from before, okay. Let's go see. We were checking out another system. The Unico, by the way, that high velocity. Mikey Pipes messed up. You know that, Daniel son? Mikey Pipes messed up. I'm only human. We make mistakes, but let me tell you what I did. Let me get this hose on first, okay? And we'll see what's going on with this bad boy. So, on the Unico system, there's a brown wire that is hanging out on the evaporator coil. And in the instruction guide, or the manuals that they give you, there's a piece of paper, and it says important. You must attach defrost sensor to connections three and six. Well, we didn't do that. And you know what happened? The system froze up. We make mistakes, we're only human. Now let's take a look at this abortion. She's a leaker, mama. She's a leaker. Oh, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna deliver instant gratification. You know that? Let's purge the air out. Actually, I didn't have to do that, did I? Because we still have from the other one. Oh! All right. What do you think she's going to need? Three pounds. Three pounds? I'm, I'm guessing three. Poison ivy? Yes, it's open water. How many guys have gotten poison ivy while working? I've gotten it once. But now I learned my lesson. Yeah, it sucks, you know, you get poison ivy, you don't know what it is, you just start, like sippy cup, would always be playing with his balls. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> and you know, he's mama's boy, you know, it was like, mommy, I got a rash in my ball sack. Mommy. <laughs> oh, sippy cup, sippy cup. Honestly, we don't miss you, but I miss laughing at you. <laughs> you did, what, yesterday? Brazing? Well, Sippy Cup didn't even know his hand from his elbow. Brazing, I almost put the disconnect in while I was in the vacuum. I oh, yeah. I didn't know where the bender was. You know where the bender was? Yeah. Oh. Well, I kind of, you got confused by the way I said it, though. Because I said it was in the so, the, uh, the brazing rig box. And you thought that the solder box, because you didn't know any better, was the brazing rig box. But I meant, when I went to say the brazing rig, you know, the whole tote thing that I have. Oh, we have to get one for you today. All right, 7.6, 7 7.7 degrees subcooling. You did say two and a half, and I think that's where you're gonna be at. I'm gonna guess closer to three, but let's go to 2.5. And we're gonna throw the sealant in there. Easy seal. Yeah, might as well. And I'm gonna guess that they didn't replace the line set when they made this system for 10A. That's my guess. That's my guess. Here's the drain. This is going into the crawl space. Bet you. Bet you. Got a crawl space under this part of the house. Let me show you. You see? This is crawl space. That's the main house over there. And we have a basement there. But we have an access panel to here. And that's where the high velocity system is. By Unico. 8.2. Two and a half pounds. She's gonna get closer to three. Need to bring subcooling up to ten. Let's go to three. Boom. 
There's three pounds right there. Still at 8.2, but it's going to take us a few minutes for it to balance out. At least, you know, several. 8.6, 8.7. So, I happen to have good success with this. Um, not 50-50, but 50, you know, it's like blackjack. You know, you don't have 50-50 odds of, you know, of, uh, not blackjack, roulette. You don't have 50-50 odds of getting either black or red. Because you always have that, that green or double green. So it's like 49 or 48. But here, I think, like, the, the, the house has the advantage. And the house is being the house we're putting into. So, damn if you do, damn if you don't. But something's better than nothing. And she knows she's got to replace it. She knows she has a leak. And the last contract who was here was just putzing around and... Hence the reason why I'm here, and I'm the I'm the reason, I, and I'm and I'm here, and we got that Unico system installed for the kitchen and dining room. We we're doing this one at the end of the year, and now we're gonna do this one. So this other guy, you know, the lower bidder guy, he's not here. I am. The bubble in there? Yeah, do you think that's 410 or nitrogen? Um, it, it may be a vacuum. I don't know. New Calgon. What is that bubble in there? What is that bubble about? See that? What's in there? We should ask them. You know what? Where's their phone number? Find their phone number. Give them a call. I want to hear. What, I want to hear what New Calgon has to say about that. All right. We're gonna take off the blue hose, which is the low side. All right. What is it? A small bubble of dried soft gas fluid that is injected during the filling process to ensure a consistent fill rate. Huh. Interesting. All right, let me hook this up. I need two hands. All right. Now, we're going to add a little bit more. Push in. That's it. She's in. She got filled up. I filled her up. All right. And no, this is not poison ivy. At least I hope it's not. <laughs> oh, sippy cup. Sippy cup, sippy cup. Filter dryer. I wonder if the leak is on the filter dryer. Let's see if we see any oil residue on this bad boy. No. These damn fin coils, I hate them. That thing's filthy, by the way. Oh. Day in the life. All right. Got done with this service call. Just gonna tighten up the service port caps with my little adjustable crescent and finish up here. What do they tell you? What do they say was inside the bubble? Butanonate. What's butanonate? So I'm looking up. Butanonate. Bute. It sounds like a butane, like a. Yeah. It sounds like a flammable substance. Butanonate. Huh. Come on, you chemical engineers. Tell me what butanonate is. <laughs> Did you figure out what that stuff is? No. No? <laughs> Some gas. Some gas. All right, this is the uh, oh, two ton. Wow. She was empty. She was empty. And now she is condensing. Condensing. You can see that. Yeah, she's condensing. Nice. Very, very nice. I was telling Danielson on the way here. I absolutely love what I do. Absolutely love it. And when you love what you do, you enjoy waking up in the morning and getting the job done and getting home in one piece, safe and healthy to your family. You know, what else more can you ask for? I love fixing ACs. I would do this all day long. That's one of the reasons why I want to go to Florida. Do this all day long. Oh no. Oh no. It fell off. Oh no. Is it helping me? Yeah. I don't know. Well, I know that if I have a cigarette while I have that on, it's not good for you. Because <laughs> now you're getting like, you might as well take like an IV drip of, of straight nicotine and put it in your blood. Oh, don't forget little Red Kev. Red Kev, sit down there. Why not? I don't know, you probably would die. No, I don't think so. I don't think you'd die, but your probably heart would race. You'd like have like, maybe go into seizures like. 
I don't know. You got it? All right, cool. All right, after you, Daniel's son. Yeah, we need to stop for gas today. <laughs> so, we killed two birds with one stone. By the way, that's that hack. We just passed them. We killed two birds with one stone. We went there because we messed up, right? We were there yesterday. That kitchen evaporator was frozen, right? And we thought we messed up, right? Maybe we had a leak. And the subcooling was where it should be, right? But like idiots, we added. Want to be on YouTube? What is going? Hi. Hey. It's it's me, Mikey Pipes. Mikey Pipes. It's me. How you doing, Mikey Pipes? What's up? All good. Are you a fan? I am. How are you? I don't. I won't fun. unless you want to be on camera. No, it's all right. You're not on camera. Just saying hello. Hi. All, all right. Who's there? That's Daniel's son. Nice. I love it. Go it, pick some pipes, man. I will. People are needed. have fun. All right, so we, we messed up on that Unico system. We did not, A, I didn't wire it right, and B, I did not wire the defrost sensor. And the defrost sensor works by breaking Y going to the condenser at the air handler. So when that unit freezes up, it kills condenser, it allows it to, the blower to still stay running, and we'll turn the condenser back on, Oh, it's my buddy Plum Pro. What is he doing? Oh, he's doing an extension, huh? Oh, he's doing a pool. He's doing a pool. Anyway, it's Plum Pro. He's a great plumber. Also based at Woodmere. So it breaks Y when it senses a frozen coil, allows the condenser to turn off, tells the condenser to turn off by breaking the, the circuit, right? And once the ice melts or the frost goes away, the condenser turns back on. Now, the re why is that there? Now, that's a good question. Because I think the air is moving so quickly across the evaporator coil, it is, you know, it's, it's not, the air is not getting a chance to uh, be conditioned by the coil, right? That's my opinion. So let me get your guys' thoughts and feedback down in the comment section down below. Right now, I'm taking a scenic route. This is the old Woodmere Club. They're gonna build, I don't know, 400 homes here multi-million dollar houses and the, the people in the five towns some people don't want it some people want it i want it because the value of my house is going to skyrocket because i live on the other side of town and uh yeah it's going to be a clusterfuck here that's just my two cents yeah, people are building that. this is the uh the hunt club i think it's called the rock the rockaways the rockaway hunt club very nice it's one of my customers right here as well They're from california this is their summer house Anyway, going to a service call now. I installed these systems and you guys are going to hate on me. Go right ahead. You're going to call me a hack. I know. I put these systems in uh, nine years ago. And back then, I really didn't know any better. Really didn't. And I tell it like it is. You know, Mikey Pipes keeps it real. Uncut, unedited, raw. But you'll see what I'm talking about when we get there. All right, stay tuned. You're not going to want to miss this shit show. By the way, you have my second favorite watch. You know, that my favorite watch is the Rolls Gold Sky Dweller, which I have. But you have, I'm not going to show your face or address, the Blue Face. And that is a gorgeous, gorgeous watch. Almost as gorgeous as putting in two Bosch systems here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we just did a mount for him for his cameras. But nonetheless, let's go see this abortion. I'm just warning you in advance, I know. These are the original, this was the original location of the two systems. And he for, forbidden me to cut those down right there. That's a dryer vent. Oh, we have a, a flood here. Poor drainage. Poor drainage. All right, you gotta keep your feet wet. Feet dry, I mean. All right, let's see what we got going on in here. Oh, on your way over, you can kiss Cuomo's career goodbye. Man. Kiss what? Cuomo's career, you know? Today? 
What did Cuomo do today? Uh, the attorney general found guilty? guilty of sexual harassment. Yes! Yes! Cuomo, go home! Oh my God, he's done! Oh, thank God, we need to get rid of him for so, so long. Come on, and all the people who died in the nursing homes because of him? Disgusting. Today in the news, I didn't even see anything about it. How come it's not on Fox? Yeah, no, they just started, they interrupted. Oh, they interrupted the news today? Yeah. Oh my God, thank God. He's getting his. Now if they can only get rid of de Blasio. There it is. Love it. <laughs> oh man, and and de Blasio says, Proof of vaccine required for indoor dining, gyms, and shows. No vax, no service. Yep. Oh, God. I use clear at, well, primarily for Delta, because I have pre-check and global entry and all that good stuff. So clear, if you use clear and pre-check, you, you have, there's no security at all. You still got to take, you don't take your shoes off, you don't take your jacket off, you don't take the laptop back. You still go through the thing, but you go through the mellow tech. You don't have to go through the body scan. All right. Green Prestige L21, that means low pressure. And can almost guarantee that the leak is on the uh, evaporator coil in the, the unit in the uh, attic. So, what shall we do? You have a leak, we know this. Two separate systems, independent, not connected to one another at all. But we've added year after year on this one. If I add now, you'll you know you'll probably get through to the end of the season, hopefully. And next year we'll be having the same conversation again. Alternatively, bite the bullet and we rip it all out, and you don't have to pay me you know every twice during the, the cooling season. I feel bad, you know, I installed this few years ago, but I'm at the manufacturer. She's not going to be thrilled at, at this point. She's not going to be thrilled with, with opening up the, the, the closet again. She can't do that today, I can tell you right now. No. <laughs> she needs to prepare. I know. That happens. So what would it cost? <laughs> so apparently, How much? The watch. Okay. A paddock. Yeah, but you can't get that. You can't buy it. All right. Oh, for theft, what, for theft reasons? Oh. Oh, when they ship, they ship the watch separately from the paperwork, okay.
violated the rules. That's supposed to, you're not supposed to get the watch in the sealed paddock uh, shipping container. And everyone's wondering, when will paddock cut this dealer off? Because we know they're going to do that. Yeah. Well, I don't know if we get this other way. So no, it's, yeah, the dog run. Lamp lights. How much are you using today? We're going to replace the system, so this one's uh, gratis. Was gratis. Any argument is gonna do it. I'll call you later today tomorrow. Yeah, no problem. Appreciate it, mate. But well, you got to, you got to throw in the blue face guy's well. Yeah. You know, how about with trade? I'll give you. You know, I know you're not gonna take it, but I'll just throw it out there. I'll give you the Bosch with ten year labor warranty. You give me the give me the watch. My mother will tell me to do it for ten. I know, I know. You can sell it for thirty five. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what's crazy? So they have the, the rubber band now on the on the the gold sky the rose gold sky dwell, right? Which is the same price I bought mine for. The retail I, I have price of that. I a lot of friends that are fans of the, and I have to watch a lot of the rubber bands. I'm not the biggest fan. So my, the, I sold my, I think I told you, I had the Yachtmaster 2. Yeah, you did. And I sold that one and made a little few extra. And then I got the Sky Dweller. And it's still the best investment I ever made. One of them, besides my house and a few other things like that. But, <laughs> um, I, you know, go online and see what the prices are of these you, things. This is their most complicated watch. I, I love it. It is. It's, it's a work of art. It really you is. my daily wear. Like, wear that's yeah. I, I can't wear. I can't wear a uh, you know a seventy thousand dollar gold watch as a daily wear. But when I go out to dinner, it's nice throwing it on. <laughs> you know about FB. And not a lot of people know know, know what kind of watch it is. You know about FB Jordan, right? Uh, yeah, I think I heard. Yeah. Well, I have. It's funny. Their cheapest watch is called the Chronometer Blue. It's got a titanium case, a solid gold blue. Wow. And what it's famous for is and. He says making the dial in that blue is the hardest thing that when they go to make the dial, six out of seven, they have to throw out. Wow. So I think this is a watch that retails now for twenty four or twenty five thousand. There now is And it was solid gold movement. Solid gold well almost all his watches are solid. That's okay. Of all his watches, it's the only one that's not gold or black. If you use market now. One recently sold for 105, another one sold for 108. <laughs> my own. What the hell is going on here? Thanks, Mike. I'll get back. You're very welcome. Be well. And that is a guy who knows his watches. Like watch a affic ficciano, you know? I have several. Yeah. There's a Movado. A Movado. <laughs> I got a few. I got a few. I got the I got that watch in, in gold. I have a Rolex Deep Sea. I have a Cartier Pasha Chronograph. I have an Omega Planet Ocean. I have a Rolex Gold GMT2 with blackface. And there's another one I have. I forgot what it is. What was the Omega you said? Omega Planet Ocean. That was my first like watch that I bought that was worth some money. I think I paid like six grand for it. Oh, and I have a uh, a Panerai. Panerai too. Yeah. You know, keep them in a little watch winder because they're all automatic watches. It's good stuff. You get but, the Omega material. Stainless steel. Yeah, it's on a brown strap. It's nice. Chronograph. It's a nice watch. But he knows his watches. Like, hardcore. Like, you can't dispute what he's saying. <laughs> he's good. He's good. And he's a nice guy. I've known him for over 10 years. So, And we're going to swap out that system and put in a Bosch IDS 2.0. But Daniel, son, the best part of that this last service call, forget about his blue face sky dweller, by the way. The best part was when he told me that Cuomo was, is found guilty of basically being a sex fiend. <laughs> he is done! Cuomo is done! Bye-bye, Cuomo! The state of New York is giving you a nice swift kick in the ass on the way out, buddy. Oh. Oh, my God. We're going to live in such a better state now. I can't wait. Looking forward to it. How about you? I mean, somebody worse could get elected. Uh, you're right. Let's go. Someone worse can get elected. That's, That's correct. Yeah, it's kind of hard to beat Cuomo. You know? 
Oh, thank God, thank God, thank God. See, where there's a will, there's a way. He couldn't keep it in his pants. Now you pay. Let me get your thoughts and feedback, guys. I know I've mentioned his name in the past, and the feedback is, you know, synchronous with what, I, what I'm saying. But looks like he's gone. Now all we have to do now is get rid of the Blasio, and we're good to go. But he's, his time is coming soon anyway. All right, it's time for lunch, and that's it. If you want Mikey Pipes stickers, free stickers, email me, Mikey, Mike at MikeyPipes.com. If you want a hat, you can show the stickers, yeah. If you want a hat or t-shirt, details in the description box down below. This is version 2.0 and version 1.0. Looks like me, and don't worry. Daniel's son's gonna get a sticker soon too, and his own channel. Stay tuned.